Good day, my name is Kmut. This is a continuation of a series of presentations in financial accounting M5 for TVET colleges. I want us to look at November uh, 2016. Question 1, required 1.1 of question 1 of November 2016 required candidates to complete uh, the income and appropriation statement. In the previous uh, presentation, I extensively dealt with the preparation of the income statement. In this uh, presentation, I'd like to focus on the appropriation statement. The content in green, as you can see, relates to the partnerships agreement provisions. I'd like us to tackle each provision of the partnership agreement. The first relates to Kate's uh, salary, which is uh, which Kate is entitled to on an annual basis. And the second provision relates to chorus, which is uh, paid uh, to Cory on a monthly basis. I'd like to emphasize that uh, there's various accounting uh, treatment, and in a TVET college specifically, we clearly distinguish between those that salaries to a partner that are uh, paid on an annual basis and salaries that are paid on a monthly basis. A salary paid on an, an annual basis it's taken into account in the preparation of the appropriation section. The one paid on a monthly basis, it's taken to the income statement. The two accounting treatments are mutually exclusive, meaning that a partner's salary can either appear on the appropriation section or the income statement. In this case, to cut the story short, since Kate it's on an annual basis, it will be taken to the appropriation statement. The other provisions relate to uh, various uh, interests. One is interest on capital, which is calculated at 8% per annum on capital balances. In order to be able to determine the interest on capital that resides in the appropriation statement, a candidate will take the 8% per annum given and uh, under the pre-adjusted uh, trial balance, and your uh, balance sheet uh, section to be specific, uh, the capital uh, uh, amounts relating to each partner are given. In order to calculate each partner's uh, capital amount, and then I will have to take the uh, capital amount relating to a specific partner and multiplying it by 8%. So the 8% relates to, to both partners. Moving along swiftly, the interest on account will be calculated by applying the same logic, except that the amount that will be taken, once more again, we're going to refer to the balance sheet section of the trial balance. We're going to take uh, amounts relating to the current account in order to determine the interest on current account that resides in the appropriation section. What I need to emphasize is, the, is that if a, a partner's current account has a negative balance, it will have a negative figure in the appropriation section. The last item relates to the remaining profit, which will be distributed in a ratio of 2 is to 1 between uh, Kate and Corey. I don't want to spend much, I don't want to spend much time on the logic behind, but we are going to tackle the, the logic uh, behind the uh, remaining profit. I want us to take. I want to take you. Uh, I'd like to take you to the format of the uh, appropriation statement. Remember, in the previous uh, presentation, we dealt with the completion of the income statement. That's exactly how it looks like. Uh, and now we're dealing with the appropriation statement, and I quickly want us to go through um, uh, items that resides in the appropriation statement that were highlighted in the partnerships uh, agreement. It's interest on capital, we already spoke about it. We also have interest on current account, salaries that specifically relates to an annual salary. This would be Kate's uh, annual salary. And we have a share of loss, which I'll uh, talk about uh, later on. Let's see how the interest on capital is calculated.
I already uh, I tackled uh, uh, principles relating to the interest on the calculation of uh, interest on capital. This is just uh, an emphasis. So we're going to take uh, the capital amount relating to CAD. We're given a capital amount of 264 and as per the partnerships uh, provision, the interest on the current account, it's 8%. Please, it, it, it has to read as interest on, it has to read as interest on, interest on capital account and not interest on uh, current account. So it was 8%. So to arrive at the amount that will be taken to the appropriation section, we're going to take the 264000, multiply by 8%, and we're going to get an amount of 21120. The same uh, concept applies in calculation of the interest on capital relating to Cori. You're going to take the capital amount of Cori and multiply by 8% to get to the interest on capital relating to Cori. Let's go complete uh, the amounts on the appropriation statement. So you're going to take the 2664000. You're going to multiply by 8% as provided by the partnerships agreement. And you'll arrive at the amount of 21120 relating to interest on capital for Kite. The interest on uh, capital Cori will be determined by taking the Cori's uh, capital amount as for the pre-adjusted uh, trial balance, you are given an amount of 176,000. So you're going to take the equals to 176,000. You're going to multiply by 8% as provided by the provisions of the partnership agreement. The total uh, amount relating to the interest on capital uh, it's 35,200. Moving along swiftly, the next item I'd like to tackle is the interest on current account. It's the interest on current account. Um, the interest on current account, I'd like to focus on Kate as I did with the capital amount, and the same logic applies for the other partner. You're going to take the current amount, you're going to take uh, the amount as per the trial balance. Let's quickly go to the trial balance. There you go. Currently, the capital amount at the beginning of the commencement of um, uh, the current year, it's given as a debit amount of 7,880. We're simply going to take uh, the amount as per the trial balance. We're going to apply uh, the percentage of uh, 7.5 as per the partnerships agreement to determine the interest on current account relating to KITE. Remember, we're going to apply uh, the same logic for the calculation relating to Cori. I just need to emphasize the fact that uh, uh, the negative indicates that the current account uh, was on a debit side. Let's quickly go to um, the appropriation section itself to complete the calculation. So you're going to say, for, for Kite, you're going to say equals to, remember, because it had an uh, Debit balance, I'm going to place a minus 7880 multiply by 7.5. Enter 7.5 percent. Man, percent it's supposed to be 7.5 percent. If you do not put a percentage, you'll get an inflated figure. There you go, 7.5 percent. The same, uh thought process in terms of the determination of interest uh, on current account for Cori applies. We're going to take the amount as the, the uh, pre-adjusted trial balance, 10,200. I'm going to take that 10,200. There you go, 10,200. Multiply by the given 7.5% as per the partnerships agreement. There you go. Next in line will be to tackle the salaries. I'm going to go to the question paper. Um, as I've already uh, mentioned earlier on, we clearly distinguish between an annual and a monthly salary. 
we're going to take CAD to the appropriation section because it's an annual salary. There aren't any factors that you need to deal with in terms of the calculation. We're going to take um, the amount of we're going to take the amount of uh, ninety thousand as is and put it to um, the appropriation section. So I'm simply going to say equals to. I'm going to take the amount of ninety thousand. There you go. Um, the last item that I need to tackle is the share of loss. Um, uh, but I think it it'll be a, a, a detailed. Uh, it'll be. A, a, I need to uh, uh, dedicate a, a, a presentation. So as not to um, confuse uh, students. So this is where I'm going to stop. Uh, for this uh, presentation to make sense, you need to continue with the presentation on share on loss. Uh, thank you.